Kelly Brisbane here from Go Laurel Highlands. And on today's adventure series, we are at Touchstone Center for Crafts in Fayette County in the beautiful Laurel Highlands. We're going to explore the campus. What you may not know, they have artist retreats, date nights, team building, and so much more. So come along on today's adventure. So tonight you'll be in the, in the glass studio doing mosaics with Erica. Okay. And she has a great project planned. Wonderful. So, so out here is our gallery store. Uh, we have over 50 regional artists represented with handmade items from um, a range of things like jewelry and ceramics and blacksmithing. And our instructors come from across the country and they're well known in their, in their craft. So it attracts people from all over to come take their workshops. So this is the B. Campbell Galleries. Um, we have this space split up into two different exhibitions right now. The back half of the, um, the space is an example of our instructor work. Every year we have an exhibition that includes work from our instructors. The front half of the gallery it, we like to partner with other arts organizations from the area. So this is Pittsburgh Ceramics Collective. We have some beautiful pieces by the sculptures by Mac McCusker. And the plate in the back is by Bill Strickland, who founded Manchester Craftsman's Guild. The galleries rotate uh, throughout the season, starting in May and ending usually in October. And we've had people from Kentucky, Maine, Florida, just all over the country. They're usually staying in the area too, okay. you know, that's, and that's looking cool. for yeah. things to do that's arts and culture related, and that's how they find us. All of our studios are set up for 12 participants, and we in this work in this studio we can do anywhere from wheel throwing, like functional objects, or um, sculptural work or hand building. Back here is the kiln room. Um, we have a couple electric kilns and they do a lot of the glazing in here. So this is getting ready for the wood firing that's happening. Um, there's some of those pigs you were looking at. In the <laughs> yeah. Gallery, these beautiful pumpkins. So this is the kiln yard. Over here we have a gas fired kiln. And the main um, kiln back here is a Naburagama wood-fired kiln. How do you say that? Naburagama, which Naburagama. is Japanese for two chamber. Does it do a different process in terms of the, the final product, I would say, versus what yeah. would be the electric or gas? So once you've seen a wood-fired pot, you'll know. Um, see, all these colors come from the ash and mm. the flame. And it's a definitely different. It's it's so you, less controlled. You don't know what you're gonna get. You don't use glaze. Um, there is glazes that go on, okay. but they're specific to this process. That's beautiful. Um, so on our way to the painting studio, um, we're passing the cabins. Mm -hmm. um, these cabins are original to the property back when it was Camp, the camp. Dunabek. Mm -hmm. They can house anywhere from you know one to four people. Um, are there like beds in there? Or? Yeah, there, it's like a cot. It's very rustic. There's a table um, and they all have like a beautiful porch. Yeah. You, know, you can grab your coffee and nice. sit on the porch. Mm -hmm. So this is the Robert Little studio. Robert Little has been involved with Touchstone since the beginning. He actually created the first logo that we used, which is a teasel or a thistle mm -hmm. that grows all over this area. This studio can be converted for a lot of different things. This weekend we're holding a leather tooling class in the class that everyone will make their own version of a, a leather bag oh, purse. Wow. Um, so we have these tables that adjust and um, the lighting and um, we've done basketry in here mm -hmm. and a variety of things like um, acrylic painting, watercolor painting. I teach a watercolor class. You'll have to come back and yeah. take it sometime. So this is the Hartmore Blacksmithing Studio. It was built about 20 some years ago um, and designed as a teaching forge. So inside there are 12 coal fire forges plus an instructor hearth 
and um, it was designed by a bunch of people, but Jim Campbell, who was instrumental in designing the, the studio. It's one of the best in the country. Um, we do blacksmithing. There will be a date night tonight, so it's gonna get hot up here. Um, <laughs> we'll have more advanced things like sculptural ironwork, and um, we've done castings, um, partnered with other organizations to do things like that. So we have one more stop, and that's the glass studio. Um, in there, you'll be doing your mosaic project tonight. Mm -hmm. And um, we have an instructor who's local who will be teaching that class. But a lot of our date nights are taught by our interns. So up in blacksmithing tonight, Phil will be teaching the blacksmithing class. Our interns come from all over the country. This year we have one from New York, Ohio. We had one from Florida and um, just all over the wow. area. It's also set up for 12 participants plus an instructor. And Erica's in there getting everything ready. Awesome. Hi. Hi. Are you Erica? I am indeed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Nice to this see is you. My husband, Dash. Hi, Dash. So, Hello. um, tell us a little bit about what tonight's class is about. Well, we are going to do a tiny mosaic okay. tonight. Mosaic is a long art, um, but we're going to do our best to make it <laughs> fast and fun. So, a forget me not, it's just a little mosaic flower made out of something that has some meaning for you. Um, and it's just, you know, pretty simple mosaic flower. Um, Could be made out of anything, stone, glass, ceramic, metal for that matter. Um, and then the other thing that I've been doing for a long time is these little pieces I call storylines. Um, and they are just tiny collections. They're ways of holding on to a moment or a memory or exploring a kind of material um, without a whole lot of pressure. Um, but each of these represents a moment for me, um, a particular walk that I took, a person that I, that I know. So you'll, you'll want to lay things out on the rock mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but eventually you're going to want to lay them out on the paper and then transfer them to the rock. Okay. Uh. <laughs> or maybe it goes this way, I'm not sure. 